Good evening. This evening I want to quickly cover the INF 3707 2022 importing justly books um, tables into Oracle 21C. How to import justly books SQL script into Oracle 21C and we're going to be using the um, SQL plus um, command. Okay so let's go ahead and do that we've got our machine over here and as i've shown in previous videos we're going to type in cmd for our command and then on our command we want to run it as administrator we're going to say yes for this because that's just uh, user account control when we're at this screen, we're going to type in SQL plus. And so now it wants us to enter our details. Sys is sys DBA. We enter our password, which my one is password123. Okay, so now we're in the SQL command. The thing I've forgotten to show you is that we need to download the files. And um, once we've downloaded them, we need to put them in a folder. So um, you get the downloads from the UNISA um, site. And then as you can see, I've got a Justly Books um, folder here. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it on my C drive. Okay, um, and I want to just paste that like that. And the thing with um, working with the command prompt is it doesn't really like spaces. So uh, this has got a space in it at the moment. So I'm going to rename this and I'm going to take the space out so that we've got it like that. And then we've got this. So what we can do is we can copy this command here and we'll be importing this very first SQL command. So the way that we um, do that is we first have to um, connect to the correct database. And so the way that we do that is we type in here um, con and we want to connect to the uh, con, con okay it was connect so connect and we're saying sys and we're putting our password and instead of the local host I have to put in an IP address but um, I hope I've got it right. Okay, that um, the port number, which is 1521, the database name, which is XEPDB1, and we can say as sysdba. And if I've got the RP wrong, then it wouldn't let me through, but it looks like I've got the RP right. Okay. So then the next step is uh, to now import that. And the way that we import it is you've got to type an at sign here. And you've got to put the backslash. And then you've got whatever command is over here. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that in. And I want to just take away all of this. Okay. So we've got that just Lee and we need to type in the name of the file which is JLDB B U I L D dot SQL okay um, unable to open the file just Lee books um, JD build SQL. I wonder if I've got something incorrectly spelt or 
if it might just be that my file is right protect no it's not right protect so it should be happy to import it so I don't understand why it's doing that uh, let me just open another window okay I recognize my mistake so what I did was I had copied um, I'd open another window I went into the folder I got the listing and I copied the file from here and I put it in a notepad and then I copied the folder in and so I ended up putting DQL over here and so it's very case sensitive so I've copied from here and I've pasted it in there and now I should be able to import there we go now we've got the rows getting created there we go tables are created so if I want to now I can say select all from customers and this is all the records that are in the customers so thank you for watching this video. I hope that it's been helpful and informative. Um, and yeah, all the best with INF 3707. Thank you and goodbye.